Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got hair sticking up. Oh, well. Try to ignore it. Uh, this is Sunday afternoon, September 13th. It's 3.38 p.m. Okay. Uh, I might have mentioned this in a video that I was going to report on it. I'm not sure. Our sister Tessa sent me this video link. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Alright, it's uh, 21 minutes, so not too long. It's called Exclusive GOP, that's Grand Old Party or Republican, Lawmakers Call on Justice Department to Legal to legal, oh, Justice Department to legal, that must be one of their departments, quote, take action, unquote, against Netflix for sexualizing children. All right. Apparently, this man normally, his name is Tim Cast. That's his channel name, Tim Cast, all one word. All right. And he calls it Congress. This is the title of the video, if you got to look for it. Congressman call for DOJ action against Netflix over, quote, cuties, unquote. This is the biggest red pill moment. Now, I must be pretty dumb, but... Um, I don't understand what he's talking about, red pill. I've heard of red pill, blue pill, the movie Matrix. Watched it. Don't, it, didn't, it went right over my head. I remember watching it with my ex when it was out. and uh, Or maybe, maybe it was on TV. It came, I don't know. But I remember being constantly, what did, it, what did he just do? And he was like, hush, hush, because it was moving so fast and you had to keep up. Well... I didn't understand it. So uh, it sounds to me like if you choose to take the red pill, you you went into the, you no, know, maybe it's the blue pill. See, I, I don't understand. Maybe someone can understand in a little paragraph <laughs> uh, what that means. but And what he means by red pill, drop the red pills. Okay, basically what he's talking about is how everybody... Not just Republicans, but um, leftist, uh, left-wingers. Uh, Reddit, I guess, is a left-wing social media. How the, all of their posts, there were a lot of them, thousands, uh, many thousands, are giving it the bad face or thumbs down or whatever, how they express negativity. A lot of comments against the movie, how people are saying this is nothing but kitty porn for adults. <clears throat> and then, this was the last thing I watched before I went to bed. Okay, so this was on my mind. Okay, I got to tell you something. I had this dream, and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you because I'm thinking, shouldn't we have some kind of decision-making ability in our dreams? But dreams are dreams, right? And I, I'm not saying it's from God. I'm saying this is what happened in my imagination that caused me to dream this. And why? I had a dream that I was at a movie making place to be in a film. Now I'm an adult woman, but I'm younger. And no, it's not about being in heaven. It's just that I was good enough looking 
like back when I was younger, had a decent, more decent figure, but it wasn't perfect, like a movie star. And long story short, they told me what I was going to do, and I said, I'm not going to do that. But they said, oh, well, we'll have to find something else for you to do. I said, okay, then. Apparently, I needed the job. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't turn and walk out. Don't we have an, an ability? Seems like I've had dreams where I was able to say no and leave or, or choose to make a decision and do it. But anyway, the last thing I remember was a guy saying, now we need you to take a nap so you'll be refreshed for your part. And he showed me, he took out this little box of Unisom. That's what it said on the box. And he showed me to this like a uh, place where actors and actresses rest before, you know, like in between scenes and stuff. And he broke one in half and he said, here, now take this so you'll rest well. We want you to get a nap and then we'll get started. I said, okay, like a dummy. And, and I'm wondering, and I'm, okay, so then that's the last thing I remember. I think I laid down and then woke up, and it was like 3 in the morning. It might have been from God, it, it, because it disturbed me so greatly that this film and this response has got into my head to where now, I, oh shoot, is it that late already? Okay, in the dream, I was thinking about doing what those girls were doing. But I told them I was not going to do that, some certain part of it. Okay, he explains it. But he's like got to be real careful about what he says because YouTube won't even allow us to say things that children might watch and hear. Now, they censor us for lots of different reasons, but that's a good reason. I hope you're following me. I don't think you really need to watch the video. I will link it. You can watch it. But all it did was cause me to have it in my thoughts. And then I had that dream, and I prayed, oh God, take all that garbage out of my head, and don't let me dream of this anymore. I had to lay there praying for a while. It was that disturbing that I was in a dream in an industry like he describes they got these little girls into. That is disgusting. I said, how could I possibly have a dream like that? I wouldn't go to watch it, much less be in one as an adult. As an adult. It is over the top, wrong. It, Maybe this is just my honest opinion, but I'm saying yay to the response. But do you really need to hear more?
And I hope the Department of Justice gets that movie pulled from Netflix. And I hope they shut them down or fine them big. Do you know who owns Netflix now? Obama. Barack Obama. Yeah, he could have pulled. He could have said no. He knew what he was doing. You know who he works for. He's fixing to be the Antichrist who gives him his power. He knew that kind of thing was going to happen. Even what I dare call myself a good Christian woman would have a dream like that to plant the idea in my head. He knows I gave up men long ago for Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I want nothing to do with them. I don't want to entertain them. I don't want to hold their hand. I don't want them kissing me. I'm sorry, men. It's not you. It's Jesus. And if you're young and you still want a man, I'm not saying you can't have one. You take it to the Lord. Who do you love the most? As long as you love Jesus more. I don't believe he would tell you no. I don't want you to have anybody. Everybody's entitled to one. But like Paul said, when you get married, it brings on a whole new set of problems and, and makes you divide your time with them with Christ. You have to you, you have to love your husband, and he has to love you like Christ loves the church. So yeah, it takes your time away from the Lord. But I'm not telling you, you can't, if you're young, you can't get married. It's the time, we're so at the end of the end And if you have time to plan a wedding, I mean, it says they will be eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage on the day that the Lord comes. Just like when, when they shut Noah in the boat, in the ark, we'll be shut up in whatever takes us to heaven. Or whether we just shoot straight up like a bullet. However Jesus has it planned, we go outside of time. We get our glorified bodies. We get our instructions and we come back down to save the day, so to speak. We try to save as many as we can. Snatching them right out of the fire, so to speak, as they're about to die. And bringing them back from the dead. I'm just, I just know it. Jesus did and he said, greater things than these shall you do. I've probably been saying that for uh, two weeks. I don't know. But anyway, I'll, I'll end it at that. And I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And I declare that, that nobody entertains the thought of this to where you got to watch it or anything like that. People don't, he said, people keep sending him that three minute trailer. That I only could watch half of. And he said, stop sending me this trailer. I, I don't want to watch it. It's that bad. It is. It's just that 11 year olds. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Over each and every one of you. All of us. Why is my computer blinking? It may be just the way the curtains are flapping in the air conditioning. Anyway, I plead the blood over our computers or devices and over our internet connections. And may God come quickly to snatch these children. Maybe they won't go, but we'll come back and we will tell them and show them the love of Jesus. And how that industry does not love them. 
and they will just end up in hell with Satan who runs it. It's our only hope. They're being turned into evil people. And they're 11. That's so sad. God, Jesus, come quickly. Eleven. I'll talk to you later, brothers and sisters. Have a blessed rest of the day. Or if you're on the other side of the, the pond, as I call it, have a great night. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.